Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for VideoCopilot.net. And today we're going to take a look at creating this design here and adding some nice grunge to the uh, design elements. So let's go and get started. What I'm going to do, create a new composition. And we'll use the NTSC DB, 10 second long. OK. And then from our evolution collection, go down to the textures. We'll use the gray scale. And I'm going to take design number 13, or texture number 13, drag it out. It's pretty large, so I'll scale it down. And then we can take the rotation tool and rotate it, you know, however we want. We'll go ahead and just rotate it. And now the next step, we're going to create a new solid. And I'll choose OK. And I'll choose Effect, Generate, Ramp. And we'll set the first color to like a dark red and the end color to like black. And then we'll move the points over and then we'll set it to radial. And we just want to kind of create this bright spot. So we just play with the, uh, the color. And uh, so that looks pretty good. And we'll put that below our texture. And we'll change the textures transfer mode. So if you hit F4, we can change that to overlay. And uh, that looks pretty nice. So then I'm going to create a new black solid. So make sure it's black and OK. And then I'm just going to kind of squeeze it down. And then I'll duplicate it. And then I'm going to select them both and hit T. And bring our opacity down to like pretty low. And then I'll move one of them, just hold down uh, shift and just move one of them kind of up a little bit. And then I'll move them both down. And so now we sort of have our title plate for our design. So right now that's our nice background. And uh, let's go ahead and add our arrows. So I'm going to go to our project, go up to our arrows category. And I'm going to take arrow number two, bring it out to the comp, and arrow number 10 bring it out to the comp. So here's our two arrows. They are very large, so we'll scale them down. And they're looking pretty good. So we'll set one of them to be white and one of them to be black. So we'll set number two to black. So we'll choose Edit, Generate, Fill, and we'll just make it black. And we'll leave the other arrow white. And then we'll just sort of position them into um, this element. We'll take the rotation tool, rotate the back one, and just uh, kind of position it here. Let's see. Now, um, you know, just a thought. Um, what I could do here is I could sort of make it look like these arrows are interacting. So what if I offset the black arrow, let's see, to kind of be a little bit faster. Um, so that it intersects with this part first. What I could do is take the white arrow and take the pen tool and then draw a mask around the intersection point. So I don't, I wasn't going to do this, it just kind of seems like a cool concept. So then if I hit M, I can subtract that area. And so now the arrows will sort of look like, um, you know, like they sort of overlap or intersect um, kind of as one possibility. So I'll delete that, but just wanted to kind of point out that, that possibility. So now our arrows kind of grow out. But they look very clean, you know, they don't quite belong. So what we want to do is sort of grunge them up. So one of my favorite textures is texture number 14. So I'll go to textures, I'll take number 14, I'll drag it out here. And it's very large again, so we'll scale it down. And then I'm going to add a color correction, let's see, brightness contrast. And what we want to do is sort of contrast the image so that it's mostly black and white. And what we'll do is use this as an alpha match. So 
everything that's white will be opaque and everything that's black will be transparent. So let's take a look at just the first arrow and this mat. Or actually, we'll, we'll work on the second one so we can see it. And I'm going to take our texture mat and put it just above the arrow we're working on. And I'll set the arrow to track luma mat of that texture. So right now it disappears because the texture is an overlapping. But if I take the texture and move it over, you'll see the arrow begins to take on its form. And again, we can play with the brightness and the contrast to make it, you know, more dull, more, you know, make it stand out more. Um, you know, so so right away here is our first element, and make sure that that texture stays off. And then I'll take our arrow. Let's go and turn everything back on. And I'll take our texture and I'll duplicate it, and then I'll put it above the arrow. So kind of in order here. And I'll take our 10 arrow and we'll set the track mat to luma mat as well. So right away, it's also taking on its form. And we can play with the, uh, the options here. And I'm kind of cutting it off here. So if we move that over, that'll fill it back in. And you can scale these up. You know, you can turn them on. Um, it just will sort of hide what you're doing. But if it helps you to look at it, you can turn it on and then just shut it off, you know, and rotate it. So right away, uh, we create, you know, a very grungy, grungy look. And it uh, looks, looks very cool. Now, the other thing I did in the original design is I went into the project flourishes and took a flourish element number 23 and just brought it out and scaled it down. Basically, I just wanted to add some more detail into the background. So I just scale it up and change it to overlay just so that it kind of blends. And then you can even drop the opacity. It's just a subtle, very subtle effect that you want to go after. And then I'll take the text tool, click in here, Evolution, right now where you have the uh, porcelain font, but we'll change that to like Arial. Um, or one, the one font I like is called Avalon. I'm not sure if it comes standard, but it's got a very nice bold italic option. And we can make it white. And uh, then we can sort of maybe hit P and then like animate it on and off. That's one possibility. Now one other added bonus is that if you're lucky enough to own Riot Gear also, you will see we have a whole bunch of other elements that we can also incorporate with evolution. So for example, I could go to my paint splatter elements and drag them out. Now these ones are pre-matted because they have sort of semi-transparency. But what we can do is uh, just simplicity. I can change the transfer mode to like multiply or, or screen. And that way the element just uh, kind of comes out. And uh, what I can do is sort of time these up with, you know, what's going on on the screen. So as, you know, parts of the element grow, you know, you also have these cool organic looking paint splatters kind of jump out onto the screen. Uh, let's change this to, to screen, you know, and position these elements, you know, and sort of time them up, you know, as you might. So, you know, just kind of as, you know, a way to kind of reuse these elements and really make, you know, the collection, the video co-pilot collection more valuable is to really incorporate all of the elements that, you know, you have available to create some very, uh, some very unique and interesting designs. So 
definitely experiment with Riot Gear and Evolution. And uh, if you don't have Riot Gear, I definitely recommend you check it out because, you know, this is a DVD and you just bought it. So I'm going to throw commercials on it because I can. So anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful and uh, we'll see you next time.